everyone. Um, about two weeks ago, I was talking to my friend. He lives in Korea. Um, we usually talk often because he was like exchanging languages with me. Um, anyways, he has a roommate and he's also Korean. So they were speaking Korean, and since I have like, I usually watch Korean dramas. So like you know when I'm listening to it on the phone, it's like oh my god, like I'm listening it to a live drama, like a live Korean drama. That's how it feels. And I realize that you know not many of us, or maybe not all of us, um, are really exposed to that um, language. So with that in mind, I wanted to teach you guys today uh, two Korean words that go with a uh, proper vowel. Um, I know that maybe none of us are Asian, or maybe not all of us are Korean, or none of us are. But we shouldn't restrict ourselves to you know the, the culture that we could actually like or the languages that we may also actually like as well, because it can open like a lot of opportunities that we haven't seen. You know, we're just like in a bubble and of our parents or like just school. Um, so with that in mind, I'm going to review those two words um, and I'm going to review how Korean is formed. It's actually very easy. Uh, they're not like it's not like English. You know, it's not um, like a, a particular alphabet. It's more like consonants and syllables, okay? So right here, you see it's a block. And a block is going to represent a syllable. And those numbers are going to represent characters, like this. Okay, so this is a character, this is a character, and this is a character. So this character is it's like the P and B in English. It's like pa. This is a, and again, so together it's Okay, so with that in mind, you can see that they're blocks, and then they form a whole word. So one of the first words that I'm going to be teaching you today are hello and thank you. Okay, this is how you say hello. 안녕 하세요. 안녕 하세요. Now, like English, you know, there's like certain words that you're not going to pronounce, like every every sound, like night, you know, you just say night, you don't say k and the g and the h. So instead of saying, 안녕하세요, you say, 안녕하세요, 안녕하세요. Okay, and the second word that I'm going to be teaching you is thank you. Again, just like thank you, I'm mean, sorry, just like hello, you, you don't want to pronounce every sound to it. You want to make it sound as smooth and fast as possible. So you're going to say, 감사합니다, 감사합니다. And I know sometimes, you know, when you first learn it, it's hard to, to grasp and you're like, wait, can you say it again? So, 안녕하세요, hello, 안녕하세요, 안녕하세요. And you want to sound as fluent as possible. If you want to, like, go to Korea, of course. If not, if you're a foreigner and you go to Korea, people are going to expect you to say, 안녕하세요. You know, you're going to put emphasis on every single uh, letter. With uh, thank you, it's 감사합니다, 감사합니다. And when you speak uh, Korean, you notice, maybe I don't know if you noticed, probably have, there are certain vowels that correspond to every greeting and everything you speak. So, um, when you meet someone, for example, if I were to meet you guys, we're both on the same level, we're both students, so I don't have to show you that much respect, so I'll probably just say, 안녕하세요, just probably just throw my head. If I were to meet like my boyfriend's parents, I would probably incorporate my bag and say, 안녕하세요. So I'm gonna show you some pictures of that. These are like the basic forms. There's a, uh, there's a third occasional vowel that it goes like, uh, you see that you use your hands, but it's a very um, special. So you use your hands, you go on your knees, but you only see that um, in funerals and weddings and like on New Year's in Korea.
sound? Yeah. You can turn up a little.